Hey guys, Tim from Chasing Trails Outdoors uh, at the bear site, getting ready to go in for a first hunt of the 2024 season. So pumped for this. Trevor's gonna sneak in later when he's off work. I got Berta with me. Uh, I I had mentioned in one of my other videos that I wanted to do archery hunting, but unfortunately I just haven't uh, hurt my, my left shoulder. So holding the bow has been a little harder and I haven't been able to get it sighted and everything just working that I'm comfortable to try and take an animal with it and I'm really rusty too so because of the injury I haven't been able to get the practice in so I decided you know scratch up for now uh, maybe later on in the season and we're going to go bow the idea this year two bears in the spring that's the goal and maybe my brother a bear so we'll see what happens but that episode guys brought to you by pb and j there's nothing better in the stand than a peanut butter and jam sandwich Last year we didn't have a large variety of bears. We had the sow with cubs, uh, one singular cub, and then we had big patches that came in from time to time. But this year we're showing a little bit more promise. We've got three, two smaller bears, one kind of medium sized bear, and then we got one big one that pops in about once a week. Uh, we have had up to three bears at one time at the site as well. So action is looking good. This is one of the two bears that seem to have taken up residency here at the bear site. Now they're in and out all day long, all night long, munching away. I'm sure they must be eating up at least 50 to 75% of the bait. I had forgotten to check the temperature before going out hunting today and I was severely underdressed for what is almost winter like weather. The night didn't last long. Well last week guys, uh, we didn't uh, didn't get anything. Uh, it was really cold and I was severely underdressed uh, and it was really cold. So I didn't, uh, I didn't stay the whole night. Pulled out, saw one bear, that was pretty cool. Um, 
we're going in now. I'm pretty sure there's a bear there right now. And uh, yeah, we're going to sneak in and see what's going on. I'm uh, pretty excited. It's cold today too, but I'm uh, wearing a winter coat this time and long johns, so I'm, I'm prepared for the cold. I got gloves in the bag, hood, all that good stuff. So, all right, we're going to sneak in and see what we've got going on. I'd love to tell you what I'm saying here, but I don't remember the exact word, but basically the bear's walking back and forth in the woods. This bear started getting a little skittish and started moving off into the backwoods. There's a trail back there that connects the two main trails. Lo and behold, what pops out to our left? Now these two seem to be my two resident bears that I was talking about earlier. So there's, you got the Patches, Patches Jr. on the far right, one with the white chest, and you got the one on the left is the smallest one here at the site. Magic hour is that time that if you're going to see a bear, it's in that last hour of the night. If they're showing up, that's the time because that is when bears are most active. And I could potentially see a larger bear if I stuck around, but I decided I'm not shooting either of these two. So time to pack it up and go home. So we had two small bears at the site, so that was pretty awesome. And uh, so one of those small bears, he's as tall as the fucking barrel. And uh, that's that's pretty tall. Like he fattens up and gets a little more muscle on him. He's gonna be a good bear. 
that he might be a shooter for my brother. I didn't, I don't really want to shoot him. I was thinking about taking a shot at him, but I ended up not. I was like, you know, it's the only second week. They're going to bring more bears in. So we're going to wait. So anyways, that's it for this episode, guys. A couple of days of hunting. And I really appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully we'll get one soon. And uh, stay tuned for the next video.